Okay, so I'm going to prove the density of Q and R, which states that for every two real numbers A and B, with A being less than B, there exists a rational number R satisfying that R is between A and B. So what the statement is basically saying is that for any two real numbers that we pick, there will always be a rational number in between those two real numbers. So let's go ahead and start the proof. So for this proof, I'm going to split it off into three cases. The first case okay, is going to be when 0 is less than or equal to a, which is less than b, right? Always a has got to be less than b, okay? So, of course, if I subtract a from both sides, I get 0 is less than b minus a, right? And from the Archimedean principle of real numbers, I know if I have a real number, right, bigger than 0, then um, there exists an n contained in the natural numbers such that um, 1 over n is less than b minus a, okay? And then, of course, I know for any n contained in the natural numbers, 1 over n is going to be bigger than 0, right? So I'll have this nice inequality here. I can multiply this entire inequality by n to give me 0 is less than 1 is less than n times b minus a. I can distribute that n to get 0 is less than 1, which is less than nb minus na. I can add na to this entire inequality to give me na must be less than 1 plus na, which must be less than nb, right? So I have this 1 plus na that's separating NA and NB. So what this tells me is that there must exist an integer M where uh, we have uh, where um, NA is less than M, which is less than NB, right? Like for instance, if I said NA was maybe one, right? Well, one is less than, so one plus NA would be two and two is less than um, NB, right? So we can see that two is between NA and NB. Let's say um, NA was a fraction like one half. I know that this fraction is less than one, and more importantly, I know that one is less than um, one plus one half, which is three halves, right? And I know that that is less than um, NB, right? So you can see that one, is sandwiched between NA, which is the one half, and NB, right? And this also works for irrationals, right? If we said that NA was irrational, like maybe the square root of two, we know that this would be um, less than, so two would be sandwiched between the square root of two and NB, right? So you can see that there will always be this integer between NA and NB if I know that one plus NA is between those two, okay? So this implies, right, um, if I divide this entire inequality by n, which I can because I know n is not 0, I know that this gives me a is less than m over n, which is less than b, right, where m and n are integers, right? I know more specifically n is um, a natural number but I know that M is an integer, so I know natural numbers are a subset of the integers, right? So M and N are integers. So this implies there exists an R, which is equal to this M over N, um, such that, oh, well, that's contained in the rationals, right? That M over N is a rational because it's an integer over an integer, where um, A is less than R, which is less than B, which is what I set out to do, right? Now for the second case, it is literally the same argument. Um, if I have, let's say, um, A is less than B, which is less than or equal to zero, right? This implies that negative A is greater than negative B, which is gonna be greater than or equal to zero. And if I add, um, let's see, if I add B to both sides of this, I'd get B minus A is bigger than zero, right? And then it's the exact same argument from case one. If I have B minus A is bigger than zero, I can follow this exact same process to get 
that there exists an R contained in the rationals such that um, A is less than R, which is less than B, right? Okay, and that's from case one. Now case three, the last case I'm going to do, um, case three. Of course, in the case one, we saw when A and B were positive, where A could be zero. In the second case, we did where A and B were both negative, or B was zero. And in this one, we're going to do, okay, well, if B is positive and A is negative, right? So this will be um, A is less than zero or less than or equal to zero, which is less than B, right? So, of course, this implies that uh, B minus A is surely bigger than zero. If A is negative, right, then B minus a negative number is definitely positive. And then it's going to be the same as case one again, right? So case one, this implies that there exists an R contained in the rationals such that um, A is less than R, which is less than B, right? And that is our proof. So basically, for any um, scenario that, um, that will come into contact, right, where um, A, both A and B are bigger than zero or A is equal to zero, um, where A and B are both less than zero or B is equal to zero, and in the last one where A is negative or equal to zero and B is positive, right? We know that in all three of those cases that there's gonna exist a rational number between those two real numbers. And that's what we set out to do.